The history of music over the past hundred years is largely a history of technology. With the tape as a medium for the first time, it was possible to register individual sounds, transform them and reassemble them into a unified whole. In other words, compose them in a musical sense. The so-called musique concrète or concrete music is made up of pre-existing elements taken from any sound material, noise or musical sound, and then composed experimentally by direct montage. As such, it requires increased listener responsibility, concentration and rejection of the traditional way of listening. You should try to avoid an expectation in addition to focusing on a single specific sound event. Listening reducibly, we receive a sonic thing whose image starts forming in our consciousness. <laughs> For the example, if we listen to the bird singing, the sound source is potentially recognizable. Still, the language of birds is not understood by us, but to a great extent we hear it as we will hear any foreign language. And the starting point of my research is the notion that new technology means new thinking. So, the aim of the research is to prove that the concept of musique concrète, which has historically been imposed as an explicit idea of analog technologies, is also persistent in the domain of digital technologies, or more precisely, computers. The research is based on the spontaneity of the empirical approach using digital technology, which can be proven by sound examples as part of research results. As such, it requires an interdisciplinary approach that includes knowledge and insights from the domains of music production and music composition as artistic practices linked to musicology and technology as science. And the significance of this research is not reflected in the problem itself, but in the solutions offered. The diffusion of digital technologies has a direct impact on musique concrète and music in general. This primarily implies the use of automation processes, which is in fact the main feature of such technology, as, at least when it comes to music. Another major conclusion is that the music concrete made possible through a computer as an extension of our central nervous system seems to be typified by its generative power. It no longer exists as a trace on the tape and is not retroactive, but is a program and as such is significantly active and variable. And all of these things can be proven on several levels, of which I would especially like to emphasize the functionality of automation and accessing the multidimensionality of sound. Thank you for watching.